In this lecture, we look at a different way of, of finding entropy or describing entropy. This description will lead us to Boltzmann's entropy equation. Entropy depends upon the number of ways a system can be arranged. The more ways a system can be in a macroscopic state, that's a, sta a state for like where you say the system has a certain energy or a certain physical arrangement, so many over here on the left or right. The more ways you can have that sort of state occur, the higher the entropy. Or in, in this case, the entropy is a measure of the uncertainty about the microstate that the system is in. So maybe you can, uh, we'll get an example in a minute. So the entropy, or Boltzmann's equation for the entropy, is equal to Kb, Boltzmann's constant, constant, times the natural log of the number of ways the system can be in that particular state. Let's take an easy bulb. So the light bulbs can be either on or off. So this is a case where the macroscopic state has to do with the energy of the system. So we have, if all four light bulbs are on, we're at the highest energy state, all four light bulbs off the lower, lowest energy state, and then there are, there are states in between. Okay, first we'll look at the state where there are none on. Well, that's, they're all off. And there's, if we count them, there's only one way we can do that. So the probability is 1 over 16 because there are 2 to the 4th ways we can uh, have these light bulbs either on, off, or somewhere in between. This gives us an uh, entropy of 0 because since there's only one way, the natural log of 1 is 0. There's no uncertainty about the, the microstate of the system when there's no energy in the system, so there's none on. When there's one on, there are four possible states. Any one of the lights can be turned on when all the rest are off. So there's four possible ways. The probability then is then 4 over 16 or 1 fourth, and that gives us a, an entropy of 1.91 times 10 to the minus 23 joules per K. Looking at the rest of them, uh, two on has the most possible states, and we can count them by putting all the possible possible combinations of with, where there are just two on, there are six of those. So that gives a probability of 3 eighths, so the highest probability, and also the highest entropy of 2.47 times 10 to the minus 23 joules per K. Three on goes back to the situation, or sim is similar to the situation with of one on, and there's only four ways, so it has the same entropy as with four ways, it is with one, one on. And four on, is, is, is the same as none on as far as the fact that there's only one way we can do this. So it also has zero entropy. You might have noticed that there's a formula for the number of ways that we put, uh, we're using in the column that marked ways. And this formula just says that we take the capital N, which is the number of light bulbs, molecules, whatever particles there are in the system, and divide, uh, take the, so that capital N to the factorial, and take n off factorial. This is the, in this case, there's two different situ situations, off or on. So, so the number of light bulbs that are in the off position and the number of light bulbs that are in the on position. So for example, if we look at the state of one on, we would take four factorial because there's four light bulbs, divide by three factorial because there are three off, and divide also by one factorial because there's one on. And this becomes more useful as you get to higher and higher numbers because it's a little harder to make sure that you've counted all the ways. Let's look at an example of molecules in two boxes. There are 20 molecules in two boxes that are connected as shown. How many ways can you have five molecules in the left box and 15 in the right? What is the probability of this arrangement? arrangement? And what is the entropy? Well, the ways to have 15 left and uh, five left and 15 right is given by this formula, where the capital N is 20, so it's 20 factorial, divided by 5 factorial for the number in the left, and 15 factorial for the number in the right. Uh, the 15 factorial cancels quite a bit of the 20 factorial, so leaving only 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 times 16, and the 5 factorial on the bottom is just 5, 4, 3, 2, and so on. So if we, if we multiply those out and divide, we get 15,504 different ways, which may seem like a lot until you realize that the 
that the number of possible ways to arrange 20 molecules in these two boxes is 2 to the 20th. So there's quite a few different ways we could arrange these, these molecules. So the probability becomes this ways divided by 2 to the 20th, which is this 15,504 divided by 1,048,576. So the probability of having this is on the order of 1.5%. Not too likely. If, uh, if we look at the, the entropy, this is then we just have to take the Boltzmann's constant times the natural log of the ways that we calculated, the 15,504, and we get a result that's 1.3 times 10 to the minus 22 joules per K. What about if there were 10 molecules in the left box and 10 in the right box, which we might guess is the most likely configuration? Well, the probability then is we have 184,756 possible ways that we can do this, divided by 2 to the 20th uh, of, the, of the total possible ways, so we end up with about 0.18. So there's about 18% probability that they'll be in uh, a situation where there are 10 on one side and 10 on the other. And the entropy then is also lar larger in this case. The entropy for this case is 1.7 times 10 to the minus 22 joules per Kelvin. So there's, here's, that's the, the end of this example.